Wow. This meat is happy. It's so tender, eh? Oh, and happy Tongan language week, guys. Oh, yeah. Did oh, I know. Say? I know your name in Tongan. What? That is. <laughs> so, on today's episode, we're going to be doing runaway, runaway stories. Story. I could see my friend's car at the end of the street and they were Snapchatting me running down the hill. They stopped recording and my dad tackled me to the ground and dragged me back oh. into the house. What's up, guys? If you haven't been here before, my name is Danielle. My name is James, and, and we, we are back, back with, with another, another one. one. <laughs> so, on today's menu, we have. Nation Place. So, before we get into the food, mm -hmm. we're going to give our shout out. So, if you don't know, every video we're going to be shouting out a small business or YouTube channel yep. um, that has been sent in. So, this week's shout out is going to Vana Sweets. Sweets. So, I had to give them a follow on Instagram. Yeah, they do uh, brownies, uh, just desserts, just desserts in general. Desserts. And they're from West uh, Sydney? Yeah, West Sydney. West, West Hox, Hoxton? Hoxton. Hoxton? I've never heard of Hoxton. I've never heard of that either. And we're from Sydney. Oh, no, <laughs> Oh yeah, they're Western Sydney based. But yeah, definitely go give them a follow, don't be a hater, and yeah, check out their sweets. <laughs> so on the menu today, do you want uh, to open up I the summers? Wait, oh man. He loves I love olive food. olive food, bro. Especially barbecue. I do too, but like, oh, really? he loves it more. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Can you open up mine? Hey. So in these um, boxes, we've got marinated T-bone steak, mm -hmm. and it's huge, may I add. We've got a lamb chop, sausage, manioke, which is cassava. Mm -hmm. We've got chop suey, raw Ooh. fish, and crab salad. Yum. And then um, on the side here, they, they were nice enough, they gave us some uh, my or thais. Yep, they hooked so us up. We've never tasted it before. And I've seen it. I've seen it on a few channels. Yes, it's been on every PolyTube channel yeah. at the moment. <laughs> I know, right? But you, you guys know me. I don't order till the last minute, no. okay? I haven't ordered this in a whole year. That's how long it took me to come back around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cheers, man. Mm. Yum. Mm. Mm. I love all things. I like it like this. What? Because it's just heaps of sore. Heaps of drink. When, sometimes when we get it, there's a lot of chunks and Jiggy doesn't like chunks, that. I don't like it. I like it. <laughs> I like it all day anyway. But Junior likes it more watery. Not watery, but more swab. Mm -hmm. What in here? There's a lot of... Because I didn't order it, I don't know what's in it. I can taste mango. Watermelon, obviously. Passion fruit, I saw the seeds. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to take this one off. Oh. Where's my skizzers when you need them? Oh, there's a lemon slice in my one. Oh, oh. yours too. <laughs> You're not special. Oh. What should we eat first? I'm eating oka. Okay. I love oka. They put the lemon in it, guys. Mm -hmm. To mm -hmm. marinate. Marinate. Okay. This was the first Tongan mukbang we did. Yeah, it was too. Like a year ago. Mm -hmm. And we're back, guys. Mm. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Mm. It's a bit chilly. <gasps> nah, it's not. Eh? I love lemon. Now that you said that, I saw. Oh, is that capsicum? Oh, I could squeeze lemon in it. I love my okas, like, real lemony. Oh, is that spice? You don't like it? It is spicy. <laughs> Can't eat it. Jimmy, shush, you're not having it. <sighs> Let's mm. have some of the T bone. That's a big ass T bone. Mmm. So tender. Don't even need a freaking knife. I can't believe I spilled some of my sauce. And in your drink. Mmm. Manioca. Oh, I like this tea, man. It's like it's been marinating for a whole day. Oh, mm -hmm. like so sissy. Yeah. 
I'm not gonna give me July. Nipple at a time, huh? Why? <laughs> <laughs> mm. right. mm. I love barbecue, man. I'm, I always want to cook barbecue. Genius for ever asking mm -hmm. for a barbecue. Then you never want to do it. Do you think I'm just gonna have a drink up? That's why, eh? Hey. It always ends up being a drink mm -hmm. up. But that's not the reason. I just don't really like barbecue. You're so weird. You're weird. <laughs> mm. I want to try the lamb. Like, I wonder if your mum ever looked at you and thought, damn, I birthed a weed eye. <laughs> Whatever. Mmm. <laughs> that man is nice. Ooh, let's see. Wow. Oh. This meat is healthy. It's so tender, eh? Mm. Ooh, I like the lamb. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, good, yeah? It's soft. It's funny because I always want to buy this for a barbecue too, but then you always say no. <laughs> Get <a> steak. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not really a lamb person. But you like it every time like it's some uh, at a barbecue. Then when it's time to buy it, you don't want to get it. So you mm. don't think of it. It doesn't taste the same when it's at our house. <laughs> it's because I drink. I drink when I cook. See? So then when I drink and then like, I'm just looking at it, I'm you like, ah, it. just wanna keep drinking. He's like, I'll be alright. <laughs> <laughs> I look at it and I'm like, oh, I'll still eat it. <laughs> Oh, I'm happy to tongue and language week, guys. Oh, yeah. I don't know any tongue words, though. Mm. Oh, yeah. Fefe hake. What does that mean? How are ya? Oh, I know, I, I know your name. What? I know your name in Tongan. What? That is. <laughs> If that's correct, <laughs> you honestly need a life, man. <laughs> Your poor mum just sitting there thinking, Wow, how did I burst that? Mm. She's a superstar. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, yum. Mm. I'm so impressed with this lamb. Man, the lamb is so good. Uh, it's in your beard. Oh my gosh, stupid beard. Oh my gosh, last night, actually, we're talking about lamb. <laughs> To everyone that was on, my, on our live last night. Last week. Last night. By the time these guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but anyway, we're on live and then someone requested, um, what's it called? La Mepa Susulu. And I was like already, like, you know, drunk and I was writing lamp. But it was meant to be that song. Beyonce La Mepa Susulu. That one. That song. And I was like, lamp susulu. Lamp susu. <laughs> And it wasn't, that wasn't anything though. No, but I, I kept saying lamb, lamb. I don't know, I don't even know what I said. And then everyone was like, lamb. <laughs> They're like, lamb pogini. <laughs> lamb flap. I was like, wow, mm -hmm. I just did myself in the ass. You're controlled online. On live. <laughs> so I've, I've decided that that's our new name for you guys. You know, everyone's got a name for their followers. Yep. That's this from Victoria. Mm. They got SB Squad. Mm -hmm. I got one for everyone here. What? Lamp flaps. <laughs> <laughs> so when we, when we do our intro, it's like, what's, what's up, up lamp flaps? <laughs> sounds alright, yeah? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's Junior's favourite part. No, lamp flap. Favourite. Oh, he loves it. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. So it tastes nice, but nothing compared to that. The lamb, bro. I wish I didn't eat it till last. Mmm. I wish I tasted the steak first. I did. Still nice, don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's so good, but with the lamb. Oh. But we're going to be compared to that. Oh. So on today's episode, we're going to be doing runaway Run stories. stories. So I wrote it on Instagram, which one should be our new topic. Yeah. 
What was, what was the Either ocean? getting arrested, funny arrested stories, oh, oh. or oh, runaway no, no, no. stories. So runaway stories one, and I'll be reading them out because I'm pretty full already. Uh -huh. You know why? Because we did like a... What's it called? Review. We did a review before this video <laughs> on Insta Live, and every time mm -hmm. I'm just meant to have two bites to say if I like it or not. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ends up being an hour, okay? <laughs> so I'm a bit full, but I'll read some stories out and then I'll, I'll eat again. Mm -hmm. So I'll take one for the team while Junior eats. Yep, yep. Okay. Good girl, then. Oh, Junior, shush. Oh, I love ya. Anyways, so I was getting the maddest lecture from my parents because at the time I was 16 and thought I was great enough to go to my boyfriend's house without getting caught. FMD. I came home and got the maddest hiding like my body had marks from the wooden spoon. After I got the lecture and hiding, my parents went to the shops and I packed my bags and ran to the bus stop near my house mm -hmm. with three bags packed. My parents came back home to find I wasn't home, so they drove around the area trying to find me. Oh no. Mind you, the bus didn't come for the next 40 minutes. FML, I climbed a tree with my three bags and hid up there waiting for the bus. You've got three bags? How do you climb uh, a tree? Oh, like, do... uh, that's all right. What? Oh, you're 16, like you're fit. But how do you climb a tree? Easy. I've never climbed a tree. Jump, but I'm, I'm like thinking, how did you climb the tree with three bags? You put one over. Oh, there's just different bags then... she's talking about. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> then they're just in her pocket. <laughs> But little did I know, the people who lived at the house I climbed the tree at called the cops. My parents came and got me and my three bags, got home and got another ass whooping. <laughs> Went in my room and screamed to my pillow till my nose started bleeding. Ha, uh, Fali eatings. Where? Till this day, I will never run away because I failed miserably. Stay in school, kids, and don't be a be like me. Wow, I think she's crazy. What? Who screams in their pillow that hard that their nose starts bleeding? Marcus. <laughs> He's a psycho then. He is. He's a psycho. You know why he's a quiet psycho? He's a quiet psycho. It's always those quiet ones, eh? Mm. <laughs> yep. Whoever, whoever you are, go get help. Do you? Yeah. What's he saying? Man? I'm crazy, man. That's like. Uh, I only ate half of it. What are the chances? Like, as a kid, you're so silly that you think, yeah, I'll just go to the bus stop down the road. Mm -hmm. Like, that's not the first place your parents will go to. It's funny because like, when, you're, when you're 16, but you think you're grown, eh? You really do. You really do, man, because I thought I was the man. Did you ever try to run away? Nah, I never ran away from home. I respected my parents too much to run away. Guys, he would sneak out because he lived in the granny flat. So they wouldn't even know he's gone. So mm -hmm. don't even act like you were allowed to go out. They didn't know he was gone. Okay. I thought it was good about a brain fat. Do you want to backtrack now? <laughs> <laughs> don't watch it, mum. <laughs> <laughs> so don't even lie about that, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this might be long, but bear with me. So basically I moved to a new suburb, meaning I had to move schools. I was in year eight at the time. Mind you, I went from a Christian private school to a public school. Mm -hmm. So I was basically exposed to things I had never experienced before. Eventually, I met a group of friends that I felt pressured to impress. They were always out of the house parties, drinking and all that. Oh, in year eight? Yeah. Would yeah. always force the thought of sneaking out on me. Well, after they convinced me that I wouldn't get caught and because it looked like fun, I finally grew the courage to sneak out. Biggest mistake of my life. <laughs> because when I got back home, I saw my mum in front of the lawn with a branch she must have broke off our tree. Mm -hmm. Once she laid eyes on me, she bolted and started yelling her lungs out. Oh, oh. I was too much of a pussy to face her, so I turned my ass around and started running like my life depended on it. I was going to stop running to apologise, but then all I could hear was my mum saying, Eke maka maka ile mea e te oi. Do you know what that means? No. You watch what I'm going to do to you. Oh. <laughs> so at the point, there was no turning back. Mm -hmm. I stayed with my friends for that night and couldn't sleep because knowing how ruthless my mom was, I felt like she would jump through the window and give me a hiding. <laughs> the next morning, I thought it would be a good idea to go to school. Another bad choice. 
<laughs> because my mum was in her ear love a lover driving around in her Tarago waiting for me there. Oh well. Wow. Before I could plan out what I was gonna do, she had me by the hair and dragged me to the car. And Ooh. yeah, the rest is pretty predictable. I got the meanest hiding in history. <laughs> Well, Don't be embarrassing. At school? Mm. Well, Sheree, let's just thank God that I was one of those early students at school and no one witnessed that. Oh. Only my friend that I stayed with and some balangis that I didn't know. Lesson of the day, Dopia won't be like me. <laughs> Imagine starting a new school mm -hmm. and then these little balangis in the front watching you get a hiding. They're probably right. having a heart attack. <laughs> Have you ever got a hiding at school? No. Nah. No? Have you? That kind of reminded me of you when you moved to Asquith. Oh, yeah. Oh, Hornsby. Hornsby. Mm -hmm. I didn't run away. No, I didn't run away, but just the change in school. Mm -hmm. your, the, your new friends that you had. Yeah. The worst stuff. They were, they were pretty much like that. The way you were explaining them. But you know what? They didn't. Yeah, because they were allowed to drink. Mm -hmm. They were allowed to do all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. have boyfriends and stuff that yeah it was like oh maybe I should do that <laughs> but in my first school in Bankstown it was worse because people were running away <laughs> oh, well. oh. because you know you get hiding I ran away when I was in Bankstown Did see you? so I didn't even know oh your poor mother oh Junior shut up it was like what it wasn't even I didn't even you know what I've blocked that memory that I can't even remember it properly <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know if it was a whole day. Oh, just one day. I think it was one day. Oh. Where like I ran away. I remember running away. Mm hmm But like, I think it was, I went to school and I didn't go home. That's not running away, right? Oh, no. Is that running away? Mm hmm Yeah, well anyway, I didn't go home because I wanted to get to my friend's party. <laughs> oh. She, I didn't think it was her party. I think it was her sister's party. Mm hmm And we were at their house and I didn't want to go home. And then I heard my brother was coming to that party. Oh, With his friends, mm -hmm. someone told me, and I was like, "Oh my god, I need to leave like right now." <laughs> I went to Bankstown Station, yeah, and I don't know who I thought I was. I was just hanging around there, and then my brother saw me. Oh, and then he didn't even get me in trouble. I think he just like told me to go home right now because we lived right near Bankstown Station. He was like, "Go home right now," and I literally, I think I ran. <laughs> You listened to him? I, I think I didn't want to get embarrassed in front of people. Oh. So I literally just like literally walked off straight away. <laughs> <laughs> but I got yeah. home and I can't even remember what happened. We just had no time or? I honestly don't remember. I remember my friend's party was till night time and we were sitting in front of her house. Mm -hmm. And that was the first time I saw someone smoke out of a can. Oh. And mm -hmm. I was like, what are they doing? Like I was so... Like innocent. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was the first time I saw someone smoking a can. I didn't even get a hiding, I don't think. I think I would have remembered that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like a hiding would make it worse. Well, You'd want to run away again. You would. I think I ran away because I couldn't go to the party. <laughs> you know, strict parenting. Otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. No. Your one tastes better than mine. Oh, mine's more marinated. Mm. Eh? Anyways, when I was 16, I waited for my dad to go to bed so I could run away with my Balangi friends down the coast. One of my girl's parents owned a caravan and we thought it would be just perfect to live in. <laughs> I waited for his snoring to shake the windows. He's a big Tongan man. And I snuck out to the back door and through the side gate to meet my friends down the end of the street. Not knowing that my dad's dog followed me out because my dumbass didn't think to close the side gate behind me. And I started to speed walk through the garden past my dad's window. Mm -hmm. I had a little toy thing hanging off my backpack and my dad's stupid dog jumped up and latched onto my bag pulling me down to the ground. <laughs> I fell and because I'm a big girl it was obviously a big thump. Oh no. I pushed the dog away and I started running for my life. I could see my friend's car at the end of the street and they were snapchatting me running down the hill. Next minute I could hear these big loud steps behind me and I was about 10 meters away from my friend's car and they stopped recording. <laughs> And my dad tackled me to the ground and dragged me back oh. into the house by my poor ear and his stupid dog latched onto my bag the entire way back home. <laughs> <laughs> huh. 
got the biggest hiding of my life and I never tried to run away again. My friends gapped it down to the coast, but they only lasted two nights. So I went through all of that just for them to last two nights down there. <laughs> I can't believe they even tried that. I can't believe that her dad caught up to her. No, <laughs> what? He was snoring. How did he get out of the house and get you? <laughs> well, she fell down. I probably heard it. And she was probably struggling with the dog. <laughs> but you know, when you hear something, you don't automatically think, let me go run right outside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think you would when you hear it's your dog. You'll be thinking, oh, what the hell yeah. is that? Mm -hmm. Oh, true, mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe a burglar or something. <laughs> to his surprise, there's his know, daughter running down, down the road. The road. <laughs> Imagine that, being in the car with a friend. Snapchatting harder and then you see her dead behind her. Like, oh, shit. And then try to gap it out. Why did they stop? I would have snapped no, no, I would have to everyone. <laughs> when I was angry at my family before I ran away, mm. I crossed out my face and all my family photos that were hanging on our walls. <laughs> and because it was dark, I ended up just going into our garage and sleeping in there. Like imagine like imagine if Marcus ever did that on our photos. I'm so mad, eh? <laughs> we, waste off our, we wasted our photos because we don't got much on our phones now. Mm -hmm. My family thought I took off somewhere else, but I was literally just in the garage. <laughs> I was only about 12 years old. Wow, that's young, man. Crossing your face out there. No, no, no. <laughs> that's a new level for Ali. Bro, that is like freaking funny as. Mm. And for them to know that you're missing. At least they care. Mm. But, like, what, was there a bed in the garage or like? And you just sleep in the garage? Mm. I would have done the same thing. Well, Marcus used to do this thing when he used to get Fali. Mm -hmm. He used to stay in the cupboard. Remember that? Oh. We were looking for him everywhere. Bro. I was so worried. We're in a unit. Yeah, we're in a unit and we're on the top level. And like, I, I heard him go outside when he was angry. And I thought he freaking jumped. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. And then like, we looked outside and he wasn't there. We're like, what the hell? Looked everywhere in the house, he wasn't anywhere. I was like, bro, then. <laughs> <laughs> I had to look out, like, down on, on the floor from the balcony and I was mm -hmm. like, bro, I was so worried. Then I found out he was in the cupboard and I was like, bro, I wanted to smack him. He like, wanted to smash oh, him. I was so angry. Because we were looking so And I was like, Marcus. <laughs> I was like, Marcus. And I was like, pulling my heart out there. Like, oh. <laughs> and yeah. little cow, the little idiot was in the cupboard. <laughs> Him, he bro. literally had his pillow in the cupboard. I know, right? I was just sitting there, just having a good old time. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, bro, how do you do that? This you hear me. people like screaming, mm -hmm. looking for you, and he was just sitting there. Maybe he was scared. Nah, he was, that, that's how like he gets angry. But he, nah. he's like quiet. Marcus is a. That's what I mean, psycho. He's a psycho. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm gonna bite. I'm not bite. gonna do anything to you. Don't lie, I already know you. I'm you're, not gonna do you're anything. Trying to, you're trying to be like me. Ah, uh, it's like chorizo. What the hell? That's like sausage. No. Mm -hmm. No, these are different. Oh, is it? Yeah. I can't do. I hate normal sausage. Sausage? I would, I would know. <laughs> Oh, like, stop lying then. <laughs> no. We're trying to act cool. Usually cool. the real, the normal ones, they have, they're like mushy and I don't like it. Oh. He, you know, I hate sausages. Yeah. He always wants to have sausage sizzle just at home. He's like, what a nice dinner, sausage sizzle. I'm like, Sausage sizzle. and bread rolls. I hate it. You, see, you know what we got? She hates it at home. But when we get to a footy game, she wants one straight away. Oh, bro, we can make it at home so cheap. It just tastes better at a footy game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't yeah. it? You're just like spending money. <laughs> Big spender. <laughs> huh? Alright, next story, next story. Anyways, guys. When I was when I snuck out the window at 3 a.m. to go to my ex gorilla's house. What the hell? Ex gorilla? <laughs> she hates him, man. Mm -hmm. She hates him. <laughs> and my dad must have finished night shift early that night, because I went to use the crossing and his car was the car waiting for me to cross <laughs> over at a red light. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> he was the car that was waiting for her to finish crossing. Oh, wow. 
Mm -hmm. Wow! Fuki slammed all the way home in the car. <laughs> Out the car and the rest of that week. I've heard that Fuki slam in the car. <laughs> oh my no. god. What are the chances? That's so awkward. That you're trying to run away. Mm -hmm. And then you're Let's crossing. Out. <laughs> you're crossing and you're like, you know, in your head, you're like, just figure wait for me to cross. <laughs> Because he's so excited to see your ex gorilla. And it's your you dad. Know, you got another gorilla in the car. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Big one and just waiting. Oh my god. What um, are the chances, man? <laughs> all right, next one, next one. <laughs> this one's not about me, but my little brother. I forgot to delete the kick app off my mum's phone when he finished using it. <laughs> then my mum was like, what the hell is this? Then my brother quickly grabbed the phone and logged out. Yeah, not sus at all. <laughs> then you know my ummes were straight asking him for his password and what kick is. Then there's me seeing an opportunity to get some fave sun points. <laughs> Mind you, he would always snitch on me for everything. Mm -hmm. right? There's always a snitch in the family. Come back. My sn <laughs> the snitch in my family is my oldest sister. Mm. Who's the snitch out of you and Ben? None of you. No. I don't know if he snitches on me. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't think he's any of you. We have my older sister. Every little thing I used to do, bro, bang, straight away. Mm -hmm. Like, I remember one day, I said I was going to the shop. <laughs> yeah, I, was gonna, I said one, one day I said I was going to go to the shop, hang out with the boys at, at the mall. Yeah. And then, like, the next day, was it my friend? I went to a party. I think it was with Eddie and that. I can't remember. I went to a party somewhere. And then the next day, the boys were, like, were texting me. And then, like, I was, in, I, was, I was in the lounge room, I think, and my phone was on my kitchen table. Mm -hmm. And Lingo went through my phone, and she seen that I didn't go to the mall, I was at a party, and she told <laughs> my mum straight away. <laughs> All I ever hearing was, Mum, Mum, look at this, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> I looked and she was holding my phone, but... <laughs> snitch. Anyways, go back to the story. Mind you, he would always snitch on me for everything, yeah? Oh, yeah, Mum, I think kids these days use it to send photos of themselves and talk dirty <laughs> like weirdos. Wow, that's what he said. That's what he told his mum. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> I can feel him staring at me, but I'm just acting like I don't notice. Anyway, then the kid reckons runs to the end of the street thinking we can't see him because it's dark. Mm -hmm. Then we get inside and look out the window. Then the bloke starts walking to our mate's house that's two doors down, like 007 or something. <laughs> Then I go and knock on my mate's door. Then when I walk in, the dumb bastard's pretending to be asleep. Then I just started cracking up. So I wake him up. Then he acts like he just woke up from a deep sleep. The cat <laughs> acts like I scared him from waking him up. Apparently, dumb bastard, wiping and squinting his eyes like the lights were bright or something. But yeah, he ends up getting a, a hiding. Long story, but that's our reply, huh? But long, but that's but uh, but uh, I don't know, man. Like. Please, everyone, like, if you write a story, can you, like, proofread it? <laughs> You're making me sound stupid, man. <laughs> Seriously. Like, I'll be reading it, and it's like how you write. Because mm. you know how you just, like, you, Daniel just looks away sometimes and just types. <laughs> but it's so weird. Because I always look, like, I always proofread, because I want to be perfect. You know why? Why? Because you don't write to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I just do emojis, like, three emojis. <laughs> I just need three emojis to reply like we share stories. Junior takes a lot of pride in his three messages a day. <laughs> oh wow. You want a battle? <laughs> Wanna talk uh, about me? <laughs> let, let's just keep it at that, eh? We'll do some more later because like I'm full. Okay. I wanna save my stomach for drinking. I wait. You wanna Oh shit! Oh. I need to check my alcohol. Oh, I think he's on his way to me. Scheduled time, 4.30 to 6.30. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. You know, I went on Tipsy Bartender and it was already, it was already like, what's it called? Oh. Fully booked. You have to book in advance. So the next delivery date was Monday. Oh, really? And last night I was dying because I saw it on Lucienne's story. Mm -hmm. That she was drinking these cocktails and I was like... <gasps> I can't be willing to make any, so yeah. I want to buy these and I full wrote to them. I'm like, um, do you do urgent deliveries? <laughs> oh, 
And I thought they just ignored me because mm -hmm. I didn't see a message. And then I woke up this morning and they're like, did you still need one? They'll deliver it today. I'm like, oh, really? Yep. <laughs> that's nice, that's nice. Guys, don't give up. <laughs> if you want a drink, just ask. There's, there's people behind these business pages that will read your request. But right. anyways, oh my gosh, she's almost here. Okay, he's a call turn. Right. I'm so excited. Okay, we're going to do our notification of the week. Sorry, guys, come in short, okay? Let's see. Right, one thing I want to say, if mm. you get this, bro, that lamb, that oh. lamb chop, bro. Oh my gosh. You know what? We need to stop doing reviews before we start filming. I know, right? Because then we can't really eat much. But yeah, please go ahead and follow Nisian Plates. They always have um, different suppers, eh? Yeah, Before different, we different. had guaca, now mm. we have steak and lamb. Mm. Oh, yum. Lamb, that lamb. Bro, lamb, bro. So soft, though. Jeez Louise. So my notification of the week goes to Deborah. Let's go two videos within one week. Yum, the food looks so good. Mm -hmm. Y'all are the only reason that I'm staying right now during this lockdown. Keep up the good content. You guys should have Thai food next. Hashtag notification game. Thai food. Ooh, thanks, Deborah. Oh, Thai food. <sighs> this really lockdown's done killing us all. I know, right? And we have done Thai food. I'm pretty sure we have too. But we can always do another one. Okay. My notification shout out goes to FJ Hoya. Okay, the first eight minutes definitely shouldn't watch this on an empty stomach. <laughs> hashtag Nodi Gang, hashtag Team Dan. Woohoo! You got a Team Dan, Dan? Thank good, you, good. thank you. Plus, I, I forgot, I got, I got someone asking for a shout out. Okay. Let me look for it. I, I told him, I, was like, I got you, I got you, because I forgot to do it before. He forgets everyone's shout out. Hey, Don't talk to him, guys. <laughs> So I just want to give a big shout out to Jay Lydon. Jay Lydon. J -Y -D -E -N. I don't know what, I don't know how to say it. Lydon, Lydon, Lydon. Okay. Something. Lydon. 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 Okay. Jay, just Lydon. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so good. All right, guys, let's go, let's go, let's go. In there. Okay, well, thank you so much, FJ and Deborah, for subscribing, yeah. for hitting on that notification bell, and for mm -hmm. commenting down below. We appreciate you guys so much. We do, I we do. I think my alcohol's here. All right, go, go. Say it quick. Hello? Hello? Hi, hello, Daniel. Oh, yes? Yeah, I'm just here to make a Oh, okay, I'll come downstairs. Okay, so if you haven't already, click on that subscribe button if it's still red. If you're not subscribed. Click on that like button, it really helps out our channel. Hit that notification bell, drop a comment down below. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. We love you guys so much. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Let's drink, bro. Hi, Ka. Want a drink? <laughs> what an ugly burp. It was literally like a, mini one, a baby burp. A mini burp. I like the big burps. Try one. Nah. <laughs> <laughs>